today we're going to demonstrate the assembly and use of the facial plane related device. For the aesthetic cosmetic dentist, seeking predictable results, it's very important to record the facial midline as related to dental midline, the facial vertical axis as related to the dental vertical axis, and the facial horizontal as related to the horizontal of the teeth. Not so much for the dentist actually, but for the laboratory technician. Because the laboratory technician does not have the patient with him or her when he's fabricating the restoration. So if we're doing restorations for front teeth, we want those restorations to line up with the natural landmarks of the patient. It's central symmetry that we're seeking, and the literature has shown this now in current literature very clearly, that this is the most important aspect of setting teeth to the face. In fact, Frise has, has said in his pu recent publication that it is the most important dental landmark, meaning facial midline to dental midline. And so this device, the facial plane relator, was an invention of mine or a concept of mine in the late 90s that I was fortunate to show to my former dental student, Dr. Philip Ho. And Philip took this concept and made it into this very simple two-part device. So it has a member that you're going to see is a bite fork where we're going to place some bite material. And then it has a vertical rod, which very importantly snaps in. And we want that vertical rod to align with Mary Ann's center of her face. So first, let's identify the center of the face. Uh, Jessica is going to hand me an erasable marker. I'm going to, again, make sure that you understand it's an erasable marker. And we're going to locate some landmarks on Mary Ann's face. Uh, a piece of dental floss would also be good. So first, I'm going to find the avion, which is a spot between her eyes. And then Marianne and I are going to decide together where her midline is. I'm going to ask her to hold a mirror. You have to put your glasses on to see, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then holding the mirror at arm's length. Now, why at arm's length? We want Marianne to see herself as others would see her. And that's not real close. Most people are not going to get real close. Most people are going to be seeing Marianne from about two to four feet. So when she holds her mirror out at arm's length, that simulates the social situation for viewing the dental restorations. So here's a piece of dental floss, and I'm going to think I find her center about like so. And I'm going to ask Marianne to take a look at that and tell me if she agrees. Do you agree with that, Marianne? Yes, I do. Okay. So if that's the center, and it's very important for us to incorporate the patient's participation in this process. And lots of times when we hear, when we do this, we hear the patient say, gee doc, no one has ever done this with me before. Isn't that great? How many times do we want to hear that? Lots of times. And so very simply, we found a midline, and now I can mark that, remembering where the floss had touched her. I'm going to put a mark on her nose. So I can just move the hair a little bit. So again, I haven't even looked at her teeth. I'm looking at her face. Teeth are going to come, certainly come into play, but they're going to be dictated, the position of her teeth will be dictated by if, if indeed she was having restorations fabricated, which she's not at this time, uh, would be uh, dictated by the position of the facial structures. So now we have the facial plane relator assembled and sitting by. And next we're going to Dry the teeth, do it open for me. And then I'm going to place some bite registration material, and you can use whatever one you like. We happen to like uh, fast setting bite registration material. And notice that I'm using enough of this. I'm, I'm using perhaps more than one might expect. Bite the other one. And I'll pick that back again. But because I want to have, so she's biting tightly. Nothing's in the way of her biting tightly. This is nothing different than the bite registration that a dentist would be taking for other purposes. And now we're going to assemble the facial plane relator using the guide marks that we had established before. So I want to line that up with Navion and with the mark on the nose that I made. 
and then step back and take a look. And it, it looks to me, and it does, like the pointer is pointing or is, is uh, corresponding to Nation, and the other mark on her nose, that gives me my facial plane relator set. 